I think what I've, I like the most about him is his confidence in many ways. Oh my gosh. Ooh. Not flying time. It's hanging out time. It's hanging out time. Alright. Hi, Daddy. It's a very common story for somebody to have heard a ooh, 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 kind of right nearby. It's, it's an interesting phenomenon of not being totally aware of what you're listening to or, or seeing or, or your brain not really paying attention to things until you know about them. And so I am originally from Quebec. I lived in a place that was um, a little bit rural, but there was you know lots of houses nearby, uh, lots of fields nearby, but a nice little area of forest right Right behind my 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 house and um, I don't remember a single time hearing barred owls or seeing barred owls really in that that area until I was working at Vins uh, and then that first summer of going back to my parents uh, we actually heard um, the barred owls in in the woods and I think we've seen them nearby as well so right near the house in the last year or so as well so clearly probably they've been there the whole time. We've just not really been keyed in on them. Uh, and so it's kind of an interesting phenomenon of not really having uh, interpreted owls as my neighbors until uh, moving to Vermont, seeing them a lot more because they're all over the place uh, and having seen them right near, you know, right near my, my cabin in the woods, um, that it was kind of special to go back to my um, kind of childhood home and be like, they're here as well. Vermont, lucky, lucky for us, we have these gorgeous woods all over the place um, and they are prime habitat for barred owls. And so there's many, many people who have seen uh, barred owls owls in our area but also mostly herd them. So they commonly come to our backyards, they commonly come to our, our bird feeders, take advantage of the birds that are attracted uh, and so they are our neighbors here in Vermont. One of the suggestions I've heard recently is take a walk around your woods and check all of the little holes in the trees. Count them. Your little trail in your backyard, the trees in your backyard, you count 10 big tree holes Next time you walk, you might see nine. And that's a cue that, mm, I think there might be something like bundled into that hole that's making it look like a tree more often. So uh, a good way to find an owl is one that's kind of camouflaged with the tree. And the way to find it camouflaged is to know that there's a hole usually there. <laughs> and so that's uh, a really great way to kind of pay attention to them is just looking for those, those holes in the trees. Okay, Those teeth. Where am Did I, I going? Did I just hit you in the face? No, no, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm good. All my friends live out there. So. Yeah. I don't know what happened. So when I was sliding out. Yeah. Kind of crazy. Right? Wow. You got the fun job. Me and then we've got tomato, asparagus, and this ricotta. Yep. Sure. Okay. Have you gone down to see the owls yet? Ooh, they're so cool. I went. Audience, please stay calm. Stay in your seats. Don't freak out. I know this is a terrifying bird, but I'm a professional avian handler. And that's its call. 
Use your imagination. Does this kind of sound like a truck backing up? But when it's a baby, it looks like this. When I got here, I was very jealous because of the, the magnificent facility that you've been able to build here, uh, the structures, the housing for the, for the birds, I mean, all of the educational aspects that are available at this site, it's amazing. I would encourage everybody out there to come and visit this because it's definitely worthwhile. At our center, we have, we're small, we're on one acre, so we really focus on just the, the handling, the caring, and the rehab of the birds of prey and do educational programs off-site or an occasionally uh, by uh, tours by appointment. But it's, you know, the main thing is when I got here, it was like, holy cow, this is, this is what a nature center should be because it's such a valuable asset to the community. We need more organizations like this around the, around the country that educate. And that's the one thing, strong thing I, I picked up here from Vince is the education and making education fun and exciting. And when you've got live birds and you can do that, that brings that excitement, that brings something to life, that brings something real to the young people and to the adults. There's a lot of adults that don't have a clue about what is around them in the natural world. I guess my message would be to become involved. I actually am very hopeful about the future. And I think a lot of it has to do with the children you see running around here. They are experiencing something that oftentimes, I never experienced as a child. I, I had no idea that, you know, about our, our natural, you know, owls and raptors and birds of prey and all that. We weren't paying attention to them at that point. Now I do a program and I have a seven-year-old who's telling me more about raptors than I know. And they will come and they will rattle off facts. And those young people are the ones who are promoting this in the future. So yes, there is a glimmer of hope. I hope that they go home with actions they can take to help owls. I hope that they can um, they can spread the the facts about them, about how important they are for for their ecosystem, um, and so that not only do they learn cool things at Vins, but they share what they learn with somebody who wasn't here. Because obviously, like of course, m me as an educator, you know, I'm teaching anybody who comes here. But through the people who visit, I can teach thousands of people who didn't come to VINS. Uh, and so I hope that people, when they visit, when they see these kind of, um, these programs, uh, they get to, to learn a little bit, something new. They get to share that with somebody who wasn't here. Uh, and then they get to learn uh, actions that they can take as well to help not only owls, but the whole ecosystem. <laughs> Perfect.